what's better the first time? I said the cut was better the first time. Mm. I adjusted it to make it fit better. But then the saw kept binding up and ruined it. So I got the joint done right now and it's kind of being held together by some screws and the clamps until the epoxy cures which says one to four days. So I have the finished tow well, well it's not finished, it's, it's in place. And I just got this joint on here an hour or so ago. It's still clamped and waiting for the epoxy to cure. So basically what I did, I put tape on the board everywhere that I didn't want, everywhere that I didn't want to get covered with epoxy. So see right in here that's the joint all the way down along that board <coughs> I basically put tape along that edge of the epoxy so that uh, this epoxy that spills over isn't going to be all over the wood it's just going to be on that little sliver of the wood that's exposed and I did the same thing with the clamps that I put on. I put tape on the ends of the clamps so that if it smushed epoxy in, I wasn't gonna epoxy my clamp to the teak. And that way the clamp will come off, the tape will stay on, I can peel the tape off, and what doesn't uh, peel off, I can actually sand off with the sander. And so we have a couple mechanical fasteners going in from up above, some stainless steel screws screwing the joint together. The clamps are helping hold it together. And then I actually went ahead and put my bolts in through the top and bolted it back down in place just to keep it all there. So these boards here are there because of the spring. I, if you remember when I pulled the uh, form or the, the steamed piece of tow rail off of the form, it sprung back a little bit. So those boards are there to help keep the middle out as I bring the outside ends in so the shape stays the same as it needs to and then when I put the bolts in uh, they'll be held in place so I don't actually need these here right now but thought I'd leave them there overnight anyway all right so peeled the paint or the uh, tape off this morning and this is what I got You can see I got a little bit of a epoxy. It's kind of bubbled out on the joint. I'm gonna try to clean that off with the vibrating tool. Starting with just a plain scraper blade, no teeth on it. He's pretty hard, but it's still a little soft. Most of that off, I'm going to go switch over to a sander and then I got to start shaping it. My, my new tow rail is a little bit narrower at the base than the old stuff. The uh, new board that I could find was only an inch and a half thick and the old stuff was an inch and three quarters thick. So on the very bottom 
along here, it's, it's thicker than my new one. So I'm going to have to shape it to fit. And uh, that's going to be kind of a pain, but it'll work. And the, uh, the bottom on this particular one here was also, right here, was split a little bit from the damage. But I left that in there because it was pretty insignificant down on the bottom. So hopefully I can make it look nice. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit. To the vibrating cutter a little bit. So now, let's take a look. So it looks a lot better there. Now let's see about this side. This side I haven't really done as much with. Got a little bit down here. I got a hit, but I think I'm gonna hit that with the vibrating fine tool sander instead of the, instead of the big, um, grinder so we can make that look really nice all right so I'm gonna need a little bit more epoxy in here see where I got a little gap I think I'm gonna use some um, wood colored bondo that is kind of a brownish bondo to put in there and then when I oil it I don't think you're gonna notice the difference After it's sanded and blended, you can hardly tell where, where it was. Pretty awesome.